So here we are, back again, American Truck Simulator. Been off the gaming for a little bit, a couple weeks now. Well, since shortly after Christmas. Anyway, doing, still doing, uh, we'll do a couple more drives here to do our part in trying to get the thousand deliveries from each city or whatever. So we're taking off from Seattle. A load of gifts headed towards the Dowels. Uh, we got 20 hours and 37 minutes remaining in the contract. And standard $16,654. Uh, where is it? There it is. 220 mile trip, 4 hours and 14 minutes. Head down the I 5 all the way through to. Actually, we cut off before we get to. Huh. Well, I head down the I 5 to Vancouver and then cut over. I thought we'd go down to Portland and cut across. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, it's currently 11 14 a.m. on the game. Uh, it's standard delivery of gifts, which is, what do we, uh, 22 tons of gifts. Going from Walmart in Seattle, written to BNSF, possibly the Dells, I don't know. Anyway, let's just resume our delivery and go. We're in the truck. My navigation screwed up again, and I think it's because of the, the uh, navigation mod I have at the top of the screen. I don't have my instrument cluster and I don't have my in-dash uh, map. So, being with that, put in gear, we're already hooked up, ready to go. Yeah, we don't have nothing even, that, there's not even anything on the dashboard to indicate There's nothing telling me that I'm in gear or anything else. So I just trust. It kind of like it wipes out the dashboard in a roundabout way. Yeah, see the GPS is flashing. I guess as much as I like having that information up there at the top of the screen, Turn right. Yeah, I never see out of this place. Whoa, looky there. Well, we're committed. Four or five. And then turn left. Turn left. Yeah, my seat's too close here. There we go. If I take this mod off for a day or two, and then put it back, oh, put it back on. Uh, south of Portland.
you're still trying to figure out what you're doing. Keep left. Airport. Then coming around here, you'd have Chuck Willa just up there around that wall, just beyond that wall. And over there, be South Center. But none of that exists in the game. Let's see, we're gonna get the way station. No. Okay. Recomputed. Seventy seven thousand four hundred and seven. All right. Oh, now do we have to get back over again because we're in the wrong lane? Kind of looks that way, don't it? Keep left. Yeah. Cross there just for in the corner. I wonder where that road goes. Well, it's the on ramp for the opposing lanes of traffic. Keep left. Okay. You get my sock shaking back there, back and forth a little bit. Or my Christmas stocking, not my sock. or left here left so I guess they announced that Idaho's the next uh, state coming this year sometime I can kind of see where they're going in a roundabout way as they you know, started out with California and Arizona, Nevada. They didn't need a whole lot of new assets, per se, really, for each state. 
they had stuff they could borrow from other game or from Euro Truck. They had stuff that they could use. They worked on when they did New Mexico. Basically, it was just a they didn't have a have a didn't have to have a whole lot for that <clears throat> in the way of new assets. Uh, Oregon, more of the forested area. Eastern Oregon's a lot like. Uh, stuff they could have grabbed from the Arizona and that Washington pretty much the same thing the forest areas the mountains a little more work on that uh, eastern Washington is quite a bit of it is like eastern Oregon which is a uh, High, high something desert. Utah, unique mountains and things like that still, but a lot of, they didn't have to create a whole lot of new assets to make it. Idaho, going to be the same, pretty much the same. They're going to have more in the through a lot of the state it's uh, a lot of you know more mountains but it's going to be like western Washington in, in some uh, some aspects until you get down into southern Idaho which is again kind of like eastern Washington eastern Oregon so the only new asseted areas for uh, the game right and then exit right would possibly be in the in the panhandle with the uh, more, Exit right. more mountainous areas or uh, southern Idaho with uh, the desert, non-desert, whatever it is, the high, high plain, high And then if they go into Montana, Montana, they can use a lot of the assets they already have. Wyoming, Colorado. But they don't have to start out like they did with California and create a whole state. They can use assets. A Euro truck uses some of the assets for a more yeah, I'm not sure which way it goes, but I've delivered to a couple jobs in Euro Truck Simulator 2 that uh, uh, you find in uh, American Truck Simulator. There's a... Keep right and then exit right. Okay. Exit right. Keep right. Uh, in Las Vegas, there's a what is it one two three print or something. There's a couple places in. Euro truck that have the same um, same layout. Um, Tesla Motors. I oh, know it's not Tesla. There's another one that's, you have a, like a storefront in the front, and then you have like a cargo area in the back, and then like a, a workshop in the back corner, or a garage in the back corner. <clears throat> and I've seen that several times. I want to say it's a Tesla, but I don't, I'm not sure now. You know, 
Let's get over. Keep left. Okay, let's not get over. So as the game expands in both directions, they can borrow stuff from like Euro Truck. As you get back east uh, in the United States, you'll be able to borrow more Euro Truck items because of the broadleaf trees and things that they have there. That Keep right. Western United States basically is a <sighs> conifer. Or coniferous. And as you go towards the eastern United States, it's more broadleaf or deciduous. be able to start borrowing and as they work more and more on Euro or Euro Truck Simulator 2 and building it up they'll be able to borrow more and more assets to bring into American Truck and vice versa you know so far American Truck going over any of the passes uh, so call me Stevens Washington Pass uh, not really a big deal. But when you do drive over up from western Washington to eastern Washington, it is kind of a major, you know, especially from western Washington going over towards eastern Washington, going over to Balmy Pass or Stevens Pass. Wonderful, sweet guys, you are. But, uh, you know, a lot of times you're going over the pass, you, you've got a line of trucks that is going from ways up the hill the trucks going with four-way flashers going because they're only doing 20 miles an hour and in this game when you go over the pass you uh, maybe slow down to The only pass that right now I feel is close for feel, for me anyway, is when you're Eastern Oregon and coming out of Ontario headed towards Pendleton. We've got to uh, escape here for a second. Keep right and then exit right. Keep right, exit right. Okay. Exit right. Get ready to turn right. Okay. 
I'm ready. You ready? Turn right. Anyway, I guess I said my bit for this particular drive. Now we're going to enter and drop the load Get off. And turn right. Turn right. I've also noticed they've started putting like a little landmark, like they started with Washington. And I only noticed it because I lived in Washington so long. A certain building or something, the Tacoma Dome, giving Tacoma the... That little bit of freeway through downtown Seattle, then the Space Needle. And you have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. A couple of buildings in Kennewick. Uh, Put in the reverse camera. Let's go backwards. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get this on the first first try, but if I do, I'll be surprised. Yeah, that's that's really ugly. <clears throat> One more try. I have to do just a little straightening out this time. Like we can do it from here, I think. Alright. 
We're happy with that. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Okay. Oh, the brake? Disconnect the trailer. There we go. Job completed. Excellent. Gifts delivered from Seattle to the Dalles. 223 miles, 32 minutes, 30.5 gallons of fuel, 125th World of Trucks contract completed. We did our base reward, base reward. we did our proficiency bonus and our trailer maneuvering bonus. We made our $16,654 and 399 experience points. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the trip. If you did, remember, thumbs up. Subscribe if you desire. Uh, we're only... 896 away from our goal <laughs> and uh, comments suggestions feedback greatly appreciated and again I hope you enjoyed the trip I thank you for watching and that's going to be the end of this particular video